For Demeter, the place she finds herself depressed is not the ornate palace living room, but the humble palace kitchen. This is the lowest moment in her search. It is the moment of outer stillness and apparent hopelessness, but also the moment that restores. Away from the expectations that people put on a goddess, away from her own expectations of being a perfect mother, Demeter can just stop and be. And I think we all need to just stop and be, as I just said. And then something changes. What takes Demeter out of her depression and stagnation is that she had the time to be there and just be, and no one bothered her. And then something else happens, and it's not getting advice for more exercise or chin up or stop eating gluten. No, what finally works to really get her out of depression is humor. Something funny and not witty and sophisticated as might befit an aristocrat. No, it is the most vulgar, the simplest, the closest to earthy humor that works. Baobo, the kitchen servant, makes Demeter laugh. After all, the kitchen is her domain too. Goddess of agriculture, she in a way provides all the food that passes through the royal kitchen on the way to the royal table. Food is life, it's earth, it's tangible. It's magically transformed by cooking. When people are in mourning, friends and family bring food, partake together of food. Life in the midst of death. It comes as no surprise, perhaps, that during the confinement days, so many turn to food for comfort and to cooking for purpose. Many want to bake, return to the days of kitchens smelling like fresh baked breads and goods. A kind of mini return to paradise, where life is good and mother is in charge. This is very interesting because wheat, after all, is Demeter's sacred plant. And we are all in search of Demeter's bounty as we go through the loss of our normal, abundant lives. <laughs>